How to make mosquito traps. Warm weather brings all kinds of summer fun back into our lives, from trips to the beach and outdoor entertaining to days spent lounging by the pool. But one thing no one looks forward to during this season. Mosquitoes. These pests don't just leave us with red, itchy bumps, but are also vectors of numerous diseases. Mosquitoes can be really annoying, especially if you're outside in the evening. Try making a bucket trap, a sweet water trap, or a fan trap to catch pesky mosquitoes and keep them from biting you. These traps are quick and easy to make and require simple materials. Simply place the trap in an area that has lots of mosquitoes and wait for them to find it. First try these mosquito control methods. 1. Reduce standing water. Mosquitoes use standing water for reproduction. If you've ever seen a bunch of tiny, squiggly black wormy creatures in your bird bath or dog's water dish, these were likely mosquito larvae, understandably called wrigglers. Mosquitoes prefer more shallow water sources, 24 inches or less. Even a bottle cap of water is enough, so leave no shallow water source unturned. 2. Use an outdoor mosquito light, these lights are hung outside to reduce mosquito populations. We'll use an attract and zap style bug light for this project, but mosquito repellent lights are also available. 3. Avoid dark clothing while outside, studies have shown that mosquitoes are most attracted to the color black when carbon dioxide is present in the air. If the mosquito is already drawn to the air you exhale, don't give it more of an invitation by wearing black clothing. Welcome to, The Guardian's Choice. This video will tell you, how to making a bucket trap, trapping mosquitoes with sweet water, and making a fan trap. So keep watching, get your solution, and enjoy. Things you'll need. Making a bucket trap. Bucket. Water. Detergent. Trapping mosquitoes with sweet water. Empty 2 liter soda bottle. Scissors. Tape. Sugar. Hot water. Room temperature water. Active dry yeast. Spoon. Making a fan trap. Mosquito netting. Metal box fan. Spray bottle. Strong magnets. Isopropyl alcohol. Water. Method 1. Making a bucket trap. Number 1. Fill a bucket halfway with water. Choose an old bucket and use a hose to fill it with water. If the bucket is very large, only fill it a quarter of the way, as you will need to be able to move the bucket. If you don't have a bucket at home, recycle an old plastic container instead. Number 2. Add 4 drops of liquid soap to the water. Mosquitoes are attracted to stagnant water, as this is where they lay their eggs. The detergent will remove the surface tension of the water and cause the mosquitoes to drown when they land on the water. Gently squeeze the drops into the middle of the bucket. Any liquid washing detergent, such as dish soap, will work for this trap. Number 3. Stir the water gently with your hand. Avoid stirring the water vigorously, as this can cause lots of bubbles in the water. Stir the mixture for about 10 seconds, or until the detergent is distributed across the top of the water. Your mosquito trap is now ready to catch pesky mosquitoes. Number 4. Place the bucket under a light to attract more mosquitoes. If you find that your trap is not catching many mosquitoes, move it to a well-lit area, such as under an outside light. This helps to attract the mosquitoes to the water. If you don't have an outside light, set up a solar light next to the trap. Avoid using electricity near the trap, as this can be dangerous. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Trapping mosquitoes with sweet water.
Number 1. Cut off the spout of an empty 2-liter soda bottle. Use a sharp pair of scissors to cut around the bottle, just above the label or where the bottle starts to curve toward the lid. Keep the spout, as you will need to use this later. If you're having trouble cutting the bottle with scissors, use a craft knife instead. Number 2. Mix sugar and hot water into the bottle. Mix 1 cup, 200 grams of sugar and 1 cup, 250 milliliters of hot water into the bottle. Measure the sugar and hot water into the bottle. Stir the mixture with a spoon until the ingredients are thoroughly combined. Run the kitchen tap until the water is hot. Don't use boiling water, as this can damage the yeast. Both white sugar and raw sugar will work for this trap. Number 3. Stir in 1 teaspoon, 3.5 grams of active dry yeast. Measure the yeast into the sugar and water solution. Use a spoon to stir the mixture until it is frothy. This normally takes about 30 seconds. The yeast feeds off the sugar and releases carbon dioxide which attracts mosquitoes. Purchase active dry yeast from the baking section of a grocery store. Number 4. Mix in 1 cup, 250 milliliters of room temperature water. Measure tap water into the mosquito trap. Stir the mixture until the ingredients are thoroughly combined. If your tap water is hot, leave the water to cool at room temperature for 15 minutes. Number 5. Cover the bottle and then keep it in a warm place for one week. This gives time for the yeast to ferment. Place plastic wrap over the container, but don't secure it in place, as the mixture needs to be able to breathe. Store the bottle in a warm, dry, and humid place. A hot water heater closet and a loft are ideal storage locations. Number 6. Place the spout upside down inside the bottle to create a funnel. This confuses the mosquitoes and causes them to get trapped in the bottle. Take the sprout that you cut off the bottle and insert it into the bottle upside down. Line the cut edges of the bottle up so that they are at the same height. Leave the bottle lid off the spout. Number 7. Secure the spout in place with tape. Use heavy-duty tape, like duct tape to connect both pieces of the bottle. Cover the entire rim to ensure that the spout and bottle are securely joined. Heavy-duty tape works well for this trap. Number 8. Place the trap in an area that has lots of mosquitoes. Mosquitoes are often attracted to light and water. Consider placing the trap beside a pool or by an outdoor light. Experiment with different locations until you find a spot that works well. Place the trap in a spot that won't be knocked over by pets. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Making a fan trap. Number 1. Drape mosquito netting over the back of a metal box fan. Choose a piece of mosquito netting that is a similar size to the back screen of the box fan. If the net is too big, trim the net down to size with a pair of sharp scissors. Purchase mosquito netting and a metal box fan from a hardware store. Number 2. Place one strong magnet on each corner. Place one strong magnet on each corner of the back screen to secure the netting. The magnets will latch onto the metal screen and keep the netting securely in place. Use magnets that are marketed as powerful or super strong. Use extra magnets if the netting comes loose. Number 3. Mix water and 70% isopropyl alcohol in a spray bottle at a 1-1 ratio. For example, measure 1 cup, 240 milliliters of water and 1 cup, 240 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol into the spray bottle. Shake the bottle vigorously for 10 seconds to combine the liquids. Purchase isopropyl alcohol from a hardware store. Number 4. 
Turn on the fan and wait for the mosquitoes. Turn on the fan and wait for the mosquitoes to get caught in the trap. The strong air movement will pull any lingering mosquitoes into the meshing. Set the fan to the highest setting to achieve the best results. Place the fan in an area where there are lots of mosquitoes, such as by an outdoor light. Number 5. Turn the fan off and spray the alcohol solution over the netting. The alcohol and water solutions poisons the mosquitoes that are trapped in the netting. Liberally spray the netting with water until the fabric is soaked. Insects will eat the dead mosquitoes overnight, leaving you with clean mesh. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. How can I control mosquitoes naturally? A natural mosquito control plan involves attracting creatures that dine on mosquitoes. Put in plantings that mosquito predators, including various species of birds, dragonflies, and bats, are drawn to. Keeping your yard neatly trimmed and the grass mowed will also thwart the pests. And above all, ensure that there's no standing water in your yard, as that's where mosquitoes breed. Check after a rainfall to empty buckets, wheelbarrows, etc. If you wish to have a bird bath, install one with a fountain, which will repel mosquitoes. What smells do mosquitoes hate? Some of the smells that you'd likely find a total turn off, like sweat and body odor, are tempting aromas to mosquitoes. But you can deter them with various essential oils that you may well consider pleasant. These oils include lavender, tea tree, lemon eucalyptus, cinnamon, neem, and soybean. Citronella is such a popular skeeter banishing oil, it's sold in candle form for this purpose. Mosquitoes also dislike garlic, if it's plentiful in your diet, they may not want to drink your blood. Tips 1. The original instructions suggest 50 g, tilde 1 and 2 cup sugar, and 200 ml, tilde 1 cup water, but the ratio probably doesn't matter at all. Brown sugar is likely better than granulated, white sugar because it has more impurities, some of which are volatile. A drop of rose water might make the sugar mixture more attractive. 2. Make traps with different types of bait to see which ones are most attractive to the species that are local. Anopheles calusii, for example, seems to prefer papaya and banana juice over mango juice. Other species might prefer oranges. Or, perhaps, durian. 3. Replace your bait when it stops attracting mosquitoes. Perhaps every four days if you use fruit. 4. If you use flowers, opt for ones that have nectar, if you know and are light colored. Or stick a small potted orchid inside the bottle, their blooms last for weeks. 5. If you happen to have a plant with extra floral nectaries, that's a great bait that will likely last for a long time, when you're on vacation, for example. Try a bunch of wild cherry leaves, for example. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.